morning to the press. Um, thank you for this opportunity to, talk, to speak with you today. Um, we have a statement here that I wish to read out. My name is Rod Willey. I'm the grandfather of seven of the eight children whose lives were taken all too soon last week. I'm joined today by my family representatives across all eight victims and, and present this statement on behalf of our families. This unprecedented tragedy has directly affected multiple families and we are working carefully and respectively as immediate families, extended families and other community through a sensitive and cultural process to ensure our loved ones are respectfully put to rest. Thank you for the patience and understanding as we work through a very difficult process. We thank our families and communities for our love and support at this time and for banding together respectively for the benefit of us and especially in respect of our children, those we mourn. We are mindful of the shocking impact this incident has beyond our community nationally and internationally, and we appreciate the support and demonstrated and respect shown to our families during this very trying time. We, extremely, we are extremely grateful for the tremendous, generous support that has been extended to our families from near and far, from the various community leaders, community organisations, individual agencies and the private and corporate sectors. Our priority focus to date has been very much towards supporting our traumatised family members to meet our cultural protocols and to begin to consider extraordinary funeral arrangements. The family have been given every opportunity to make decisions regarding the house, the use of donations, and funeral arrangements, and we are taking careful time to make the best transparent and collective dis discussions, decisions we can regard these matter, regarding these matters. We're asking families to respect this process and be patient. We are ultimately making the decisions and no one else. I cannot today confirm the date for the funeral ceremonies, but can share with you a joint decision by our families to lay to rest our eight loved ones together here in Cairns early in the new year. Particularly at this special time of the year, we take this opportunity to remind our families and the wider public to hold dear such occasions with the family and friends and to regularly offer and seek loving support from one another. Children are the most vulnerable of our society whose innocent lives deserve the greatest of love and care. Cherish them. Thank you. God bless and a Merry Christmas. Thank you.